Whoa, is this your house, Master? Really? You own the entire thing? Not just part of it? It's so big. I have room to run around and climb up on things, and there are so many higher places to take naps on or knock things off of. Uh, not that I would knock things down in your household, Master. I'm a good cat girl, after all. Yeah. So, so please don't leave me. But it's nice and warm, too. And not just in some rooms, but all of them. Even though it's so cold outside, it's so cozy in here. It really just makes the place feel like a shelter. Like it's protecting me. Do you keep the heat on all of the time? Back in Mother's, she would only put it high enough just for me to survive. Mm -hmm. She would always say heating is so expensive and wave her finger at me. Mm, that's understandable. I'm not worth the cost. And it's so clean, too. Well, there are a few spots. Nothing perfect. But it's way better than I deserve. No piled up dishes or trash littered around. Just a quick dusting and mopping and it'll be almost, if not flawless. I don't even see any bugs. Mother's place always had quite a few. No matter how hard I tried to clean or get rid of them. Mm, especially in the kitchen. But... Speaking of the kitchen... Wow! There's so much food! Look at all this! Your fridge is so stocked! And, and not just with microwave meals or expired stuff! You've got some real gourmet things in here! I mean, look at this! Three different flavors of pudding! What are we, royalty? There are all these fruits I don't even know the names of. Are they for a special occasion? You must have a lot of special occasions coming up. What's the one in this packaging? What language is it? It's so exotic. I can't even read it. It's not even in Latin characters. There's all these cheeses too. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to go rummaging for your fridge, Master. I just got so excited is all. There's so many things here that we just didn't have at Mother's. Mm -hmm. Except for Mother herself. something I um you know how mother didn't want me anymore why didn't she want me I know I leave a lot to me desired I'm very airheaded and forgetful I'm clumsy and break things I'm not very good at understanding others but she's still my mother you know the only mother I have so why did she abandon me oh oh so you're 
just saying that I'm just a science experiment? Not even a successful one? But she's still my mother. I know she might have just created me out of a vat and some chemicals, and maybe I'm not her child in the traditional sense, but she still made me, and that's what a mother is, right? I know maybe she didn't really always watch to make sure I wasn't getting into trouble. Maybe she never really cooked for me. Maybe she never really read to me or taught me much of anything other than what I could learn from watching her, but she was just always so busy. I mean, she had all her experiments and was always just so focused on her research. I'm sure she had a million things on her mind and... Oh... Mm. I'm sorry, Master. I didn't mean to get so heated. It's... It's just an issue close to my heart. And... I don't know what to make of it. I guess... I don't hate her. At the very least. Mm. It's like you said, right? She was trying to make cowboys, but instead accidentally made me. I don't know the details. Maybe she mixed up the X and Y chromosomes in one of her rats or something. I guess the specifics don't matter. But I can't give her what she's looking for. She didn't want me. She didn't need me. So she gave me to you. Thank you. Thank you, Master, for wanting me. I hope. Thank you for wanting me. Even when no one else did. Mm. But enough about that. We should stay in positive. <laughs> did, did you like the cat one? <laughs> oh, you liked it. Thank goodness. I almost thought I would get lost again. Ooh, sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. My stomach just has a mind of its own. I didn't mean to bother you and... Oh, we can have dinner? Thank you, Master. That's perfect. I'll be happy with whatever you give me. So then, what will I be making? Oh no, Master, I can never ask you to cook for me. You've already given me so much. A warm home, clean clothes, validation, love, nurse, and nurse, and mm. Although, I do have to admit, I don't think I would be able to make you a very good meal. But, I can learn. Maybe not very well or quickly, but I can learn. I'm sure if you just give me something simple that even I could do, I, I could let off for you. Or at least, maybe I can do the menial tasks to take some of the workload off of you. So, do you have any tasks for me? Okay, I promise I'll be helpful. Just leave it to me. So, please keep me around. Okay, master. I finished chopping the onions. Now what should I do with them? No, master. I'm not 
crying because I cut the onions. I'm crying because I'm terrified of messing this up and losing my one chance of having a place in this world. Just put it on the table? Yes, of course. I can do that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, I swear I didn't mean to, I can clean it up, here, I know, let me just get a broom, I swear, I can make this right, so, please forgive me, please forgive me, please don't kick me out. Why did you kick me out? Well, because that's what Mother always said whenever I messed up. Like when I messed a spot cleaning, or when I made too much noise, or well, anything really. It happened many times, at least once a day. That's what happens when you're me. Since she said it so many times, a, a part of me hoped it was just an empty fret. Mm, but, but she really did get rid of me. But then, does that mean you're not getting rid of me? Really? Thank you. Thank you, Master. There isn't a single day I won't think of this kindness. I promise I won't take it for granted. Although... Huh? You, you're hugging me. Mm. Mother never hugged me. Mother never did anything. Oh, s sorry, Master. Yes, I would love to eat. Wow. This tastes incredible. I can't believe I helped make this. Are all your meals this good? Only... <laughs> only the ones you have of me? Why? Well, I, I don't know what to say. But, um... Thank you so much again, Master. A reward? You want to give me a reward? But Master, I know I helped to make the meal, but but you did most of the work, and and nothing I contributed was even. Okay, okay, I I won't argue with you, Master. Then. It's all right with you, Master. I mean, I know this isn't really my place to ask, but you said I could ask for anything I want, right? So then, if you're not too disgusting, I would like another hug, Master. I just can't get the last one out of my head. It's like I didn't realize how much I was aching until you touched me. And I'm still aching, so... Oh, thank you, Master. 
I just don't know how to describe this feeling. It's like, even when I was with mother, I felt alone. But now, when you hug me, I just feel not. <laughs> a good feeling. I wish it could last forever. But uh, I feel more guilty every second the hug lasts. I wish there was something I could do to repay you. I really do. still want to give me another reward, even after all of that? Well, right, I won't argue with you, Master. <laughs> if you still want to give me another reward, then can you take me to go talk to the other cat girls? What do you mean I'm the only cat girl? I know I'm just an experiment, but I... I thought there would be others. You know, other scientists that made a few... I was hoping maybe I could have a chat with them and maybe be friends. And we could just... I don't know, purr together or take naps or something. It wouldn't really matter as long as we were together. Hmm, well, I guess I'm all alone. Hmm? Oh, no, Master. I'm fine. I'll be fine. I'm used to it by now. Hmm, then, if I have to ask for another gift, can I ask for a GPS tracker? M Mother, I, I mean, the, the scientist had a few in her lab. It's something that lets me always know the location of something, right? It wouldn't be for me. I mean, it wouldn't be on me. I want to place it on you. It, if that's alright, I mean. So I always know how to find you. <laughs> so you can never leave me. You'll think about it? Oh, thank you so much, Master. Even for just considering it, you're so wonderful. But that's why you're the best. <laughs> I wish I had another cap on. Mm, I love you very much. Oh no, Master, I'll get your plate, and I promise not to drop it this time. I hope you enjoyed your breakfast. I put a lot of effort into it, since I had to overcome my fear of the toaster. Wait, where are you going? Work? What do you mean you have to go to work? How long will you be? What will I do when you're gone? Eight hours, but... <laughs> yes, Master, I'll be good. But you will come back, won't you? Please come back. I need you to come back. I don't know what I'll do if you don't. Then, um... I'll try to find a hobby or something to keep me occupied while you're away. Uh, have a safe trip.
sister, you came back. You really came back. Oh, I was so worried. I thought maybe that you might have gotten into an accident or something. I mean, you were taking longer than eight hours. I should know. I was always watching the clock. Oh, I don't know what I would have done if you didn't return. But all that matters is that you're here, I guess. So now we can spend some time together. And maybe even try that hugging thing again? Oh, yes, I did find some way to keep myself occupied while you were gone. Do you want to see it? Here, look, I wrote you a poem. It took a really long time to really perfect it, so I hope you'll enjoy it. I think it really captures my feelings quite well. Okay, here, I'll read it to you. I hunted a mouse on all my fours with much more violence than all the wars. I caught it in my paws, too much my glee, but killed it not. It is for me. I could not understand its cries, but saw my name deep in its eyes. Oh, how it did bite and fight and fro, but if it wanted to leave, it would have long ago. Well, what did you think? Really? You think it's great? Oh, your words mean so much to me, Master. Even the stupid scientist never praised me. <laughs> Not that it matters, now that I have Master. Oh, but that's not all. I also took up drawing. Here, look. It's me and you. I drew you with cat ears and a tail. That way you could be just like me. I am. I'll show you us handcuffed together so we can never separate. It's a little embarrassing. I would never want to inconvenience you. I just thought it was... Well, I just wanted to draw it. You like it? Oh, that's wonderful, Master. You're so understanding. What's in the bag? You've been holding it for a while now. You got handcuffs? For real? How did you know? You wanna be with me forever and ever too? to say. I never thought I would be happier than when you brought me home, but mm, thank you. I don't, I didn't know life could be this wonderful, but you taught me that it could be. I thought I would be alone forever, but you got connected with me to a greater degree than I thought was even possible. This This is just perfect. <laughs> I knew it. You're a sucker for cat puns. Let's stay attached and do everything together from now on. You're mine and I'm yours, okay? Now that we're attached together, 
You can't get rid of me, okay? <laughs> you wanna know what us kitties are really good at? That's right. Cuddles. <laughs> Tomorrow too. 